Hi guys, welcome along to another video that I've got for you here. This one's um, just showing you really how the diagram designer program works that you've seen the results of in the last three or four of my programming video tutorials. Um, I just thought I'd show you this nice program because it's freeware and it's something that can help you in all sorts of aspects of life, not just in computer programming. Okay, If you've got any prob sort of problem, you can lay it out graphically or if you want to sort of like troubleshoot a, a problem, you can lay out uh, the flow of what should happen and, and troubleshoot through the diagram, making things a lot more easier. Uh, I'll put the description, uh, sorry, I'll put the link in the description, not the description in the link. I'll put the link in the description for you where you can get this program from. It says freeware and it's a nice piece of kit. I really can't recommend it too highly. I use it as you, those of you who follow some of my uh, videos will already know. Okay, so with that uh, out of the way, let's crack on and see what we can uh, do with it. Let's show you how it actually works, okay? Well, first of all, I'm going to have a title in there, okay? So we'll just click on the ABC, which allows me to create uh, a title, and then we'll click on the uh, area of the screen. So in order to clear the default text in there, hit the delete key on your keyboard, and what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to set a font and I'm also going to set a different size, okay? So it goes to default size if you don't put anything in, any switches in, like what, what you can see here. All these are switches here with a description of what exactly they do, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to go about what we're going to do. Let me move that out of the way so you can see what exactly is going on. Uh, first of all, we're going to put a backslash, a quartz, and then I'm going to use the Brandywine font. Brandywine. Make sure that you finish the quotes, and then I'm going to set that to a size. Your size must be in three digits, guys. It does say there. That's your font size. Okay, three digits font size. So I'm going to go 018, and then I'm going to put in um, sample chart. Okay, down here you get a graphical representation of what the chart is, and then we click OK. And then we just simply move that to wherever I want. So somewhere around about there is okay. You'll notice that everything we do is listed in this column here. This is the process tree. It tells you exactly what you want to do. If you need to switch this bit off, you simply click on object and click on show object tree. And it gives you more screen space. Okay, Real estate, if you like. To put that back in, simply do the same again. These are the flowchart ones here. It's set to flowchart there. We've got a drop down box. I'll cover some of those after we've finished the flowchart. But at the moment, we're on the flowchart setting. And these are your flowchart icons down here, the ones that we can put in. Okay. And then, of course, you've got your various editing things up here. So we've got line thickness, line color, all that sort of thing. You can actually draw ellipse, draw rectangle. And we've already covered the insert text. You can do lots and lots of things on here. If you want to import your own photograph and put arrows, text, etc. on it, you simply click on Edit and Insert Picture, and that will do that for you. But I'm not going to insert my own picture. but uh... Right, let's crack on and do show you how to create a quick flowchart. Okay, so what we're going to do now, you simply put your mouse and drag and drop to wherever you want it on the screen. Okay, so in this case, I'll put it somewhere around about the centre underneath the the title, I think we might have that just, and I'll leave that, I'll leave that, okay. Now to edit that, the text inside the box, because you see all these boxes come with, with text describing what the actual shape means, we just double click, simply just double click, and then your editor will come up again to clear the text on that. Hit your delete button, okay. Now then I'm going to put, because this is an input output box, I'm going to put in um, input sales figures okay now as you can see it's just a little bit on the bit we can actually do it two ways we can actually make this a little bit bigger like such so it's in there or we can actually just again double click in there go into the edit mode click at the beginning and we can just simply hit the backslash 008 and reduce the font size as you can see, that's where it's done. Whichever one floats your boat, really, whatever you want to do. Okay. 
So we'll we'll stick with a, a font size of 008. Uh, you should be able to see that okay on your screen. To deselect that, you simply just click anywhere on a blank piece of uh, screen and it will deselect the figure. Next thing we want to do is we want to now show the flow chart flow into the next box. So we just simply go over to the arrow that we want to use and click and drag that and then release. Not to worry that it's not lined up. We just move it by clicking and dragging till it's square. You see that the lines are straight line there. Then we can let go. We can move our mouse to the center so we get the, the four arrows there and we can move it. And then finally, because that's going to be really long, if we had a long flow chart, it'd be huge. So we just move our cursor until we get the sort of like diagonally double headed arrows. And then we can make it short. We can also make it longer this way as well, by, by the way. But I'm just showing you that we can make it shorter so that we can like condense the flow chart. We don't need it sort of huge. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, have a decision in there. We're going to ask a question. So we'll move the decision tree the decision box, sorry, in there. And again, we'll just move it into place first. As you can see, it's, we just keep it nice and center with the it, the little boxes there, the little handles. It shows you which is uh, how you can get it center or whatever whatever position you want. It just looks, makes it look just that little bit neater. Okay, so, and then we're gonna edit the text in there. Again, you can clear the text by just hitting the delete key on your keyboard and again, we're going to put that in as 8 point. Um, if you wish to put fonts in there, then of course you can, but it's uh, I'm just using the default here. Okay. Um, are figures more than yesterday? Put that in there. Okay, so that just about fits in the box. As I say, we can actually make it a little bit bigger if we wish, but I think that's looking okay just for a, a, a sample chart okay so i've clicked off onto the real estate to give you that now what we're going to do now is we need two arrows coming off this um so what we're going to do is because we've got a question there so it can either be yes or no as you know in logic so we'll just straighten that just a tiny bit move that into position now what we want we're going to use this this side here as the yes and this side here is the no. Now, you can, if you wish, just simply put in the text. So if you didn't have a yes or no answer, if it was something else, you can use text. But to make it quick, the program does have a pre-selected yes and no here. So all we simply do is drag the yes down here. And it's already done for you. Okay, I'll just move that a little bit out of the way. Click off that. There you go. So that's your yes box. And then we want another arrow here to go to there. We'll just straighten that arrow up till it looks something like. There we go, that looks near enough. Again, move the arrow to the relevant position, and then we can also make that arrow a little shorter as well. Click off that, and then we'll drag a no to there. Just put that in somewhere and click off that so as you can see the beginning of the chart is coming on pretty good now so now what we're going to do is put another box there we've gone a little bit far not to worry we'll line that one up and we're going to put another box there too okay so that's what we're going to do there okay so what we're going to do we'll we'll continue on the newer one uh, again we edit that by hitting the delete key um, Backslash 008, print, um, I don't know, not better than yesterday. Okay, something like that, just a very, very something simple little fit in. Yeah, we can actually move these boxes a little bit smaller than we want if we want to, and then we'll just line up just to make it look uh, a little bit better. And then we'll edit this box. Again, we hit that delete key, um, backslash 008, print better than yesterday. Okay, it's very, very simple. Again, we'll resize this box. And we'll just line that up nicely. 
Okay. And then we'll have another arrow there. And we'll just level that up and move that into the centre. And we'll just shorten the arrow just a little bit just to keep it all condensed and neat and tidy. And then we'll put a terminator in there because that's the end of the program that we were doing or the end of the the problem that we were we were looking at. And again we'll edit that. And we'll put in there, we'll delete that. End process. And we click OK on there. And the last final thing we want to do now is a couple more lines in here and then the program, the flowchart is uh, completed I think. And then I'll get on with showing you some other bits as you see it's it's all it does take a little bit of time to do this and when you first start obviously as you can see we can make it longer as well which I'm what I'm going doing here we can stretch it or shorten the um, arrows so um, and what I want to do here is just make that oops just a little bit far that's okay now we'll just move that up to there and then we'll drag that to there and there's your completed flow chart for this sample chart. So as you can see, it, it does take a little bit of time, but it's, it does look neat and tidy, and it's very easy to follow the flow of any program or whatever you're doing there, any problem you've got. So you've got your, your process tree down there. Now, what we have got on here, um, you can export this to another file format if you want, so you can print it off, you can do all sorts of things, or just simply save it. You've got slideshow options. You've got all sorts on here for a free piece of kit. It's not bad at all. It really isn't bad at all. You can work with layers as well. Um, there's, there's absolutely lots and lots of things you can do on this that I'm not even going to go through. You see, you've got spell checker. You've got all sorts on here. Things on here that we haven't used. Um, the one thing I'm got this on, at the top here are you can alter the um, arrow ends so you can have different ends, different starts. You can alter the colour of them, the thickness of them, you can draw ellipses, you can draw rectangles, there's all sorts of things you can do here. And one other thing that you can do as well, it doesn't just do flowcharts, it does all sorts. I was set on flowchart as default, uh, that's what you may get when you first start the program up. And to get to the flowchart, obviously you just simply click that and then we've got obviously electronic symbols, so you've got transistors and and what have you in there i'm not well up on electronics but we can just you know drag that on there and do whatever you want really um there's uh flow chart which we've just done there's gui design one for designing the graphical user interfaces um this one is sort of trees and mountains and, and volcanoes and things like that uh, not sure what you'd use those for, but anyway, they're there. You may want them for some sort of purpose. Uh, as you can see, there's, there's quite a bit of kit on here that you can use and drag, and you're not limited to just using flowchart. As I said, you can um, insert your own picture in there. You can put arrows, text, what have you on there, or even symbols on there on your own picture. So it's, it's quite a, a nice piece of kit. Like I said, the link will be in the description for that. Uh, also, the link to our site will be in the description. I hope uh, you visit and you visit us. Uh, we ha do have thousands of tutorials and hints and tips and links on there. Uh, if you like this video, please rate and favourite it. And uh, remember, we're on video as well. Please subscribe to our channel uh, and visit Vimeo if you're on Vimeo. Give us a, give us a shout on there. Um, I think that's about it for now, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you again soon. Bye for now.